Hello guys, welcome back to Raze Gaming Guitar Productions and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to decrease your pain in games like Apex Legends, Fortnite, Rocket League and other online games. Now I know this is obvious but some people including me don't think to try this and it can help depending on how long it hasn't been updated. Now this method can fix issues that are fixed by the manufacturers themselves which can be the reason you're getting high ping. Most companies will release a product like a network adapter and then roll out updates for said adapter over time to fix issues or upgrade the product. Now all you need to do is go to the website for your network adapter. I'm not sure all the different types of network adapters but I know personally I have TP-Link and sometimes you might be able to find the name of your network adapter on the actual network adapter or on the package or even on the DVD that might come with it and surprisingly some modern network adapters adapters actually come with DVDs. Now all you need to do is if you have TP-Link find the model number which you can find on the package or you can find in the software. Put the model right here, find the right one for you and download it. The next fix is using an optimizer named Hellzerk. This is a widely known optimizer by people who use or create optimizers similar to it. This optimizer doesn't only fix network issues, but it can also potentially fix game lag and remove bloatware. But today we are focusing on ping. Now first thing you need to do after downloading the optimizer from GitHub, you just want to go ahead and open it and give it administrative permissions. And then once it's open, you want to go up here and you want to find optimizer network. Now what this will do is this will just do whatever special things that they do to optimize the network. And to be honest, it really does work. Now they do also have optimized performance, which I have on. I'm not really sure if it works, but you can do this if you want, but I just, I'm not going to recommend that you do it because I'm not fully sure what it does, but it works fine for me and I'm not having any problems. Now, as you guys can see, they also have other things like apps, privacy, and disk drives. This will do the, thing, the normal things that you might want to do to help your disk drive. The privacy and apps, these are just bloatware that Windows 10 automatically adds to your system, which the telemetry, I'm sure that you can just go ahead and, and just disable those. But these, I'm not really sure if you should do it. Now you can do it if you want to, but the ones that you really shouldn't mess with are the ones that are over here. But you can always just look at your own videos. Just go on YouTube, search Helzer Optimizer, and you can easily find videos. Or if you look on TikTok, which is where I found it, then they will have plenty of videos showing you and plenty of people will, will tell you that you do not want to just go messing with these, especially really not any optimizer. You don't want to just go messing with them because these optimizers can really break your system if you just go clicking stuff. So you can do this at your own caution, but I would recommend that you look up some videos on either TikTok or YouTube and search Helzerg Optimizer and you can find videos for this. I know many people think that nothing is downloading because they didn't authorize it, but apps like Steam, Epic Games, EA Play, Origin, and other app stores can potentially start updates for games without you having any knowledge of it. Another thing that probably causes lag are Windows updates installs, which can start without notifying you, but I'm not sure if that affects Wi-Fi much. Now, the first thing we can check is Windows update. Now, as you guys can see, I actually have a update right now, and apparently it actually didn't install. So maybe this is just a Windows 10 problem. So for the people that are having this problem, Windows 10, I will help you guys out with it. So one thing I noticed when I was on Windows 10 is that it would instantly install it without your authorization. So it would install all the files it, it needs. And then by the time that you actually look at your Windows updates, it is already asking you to restart, which is because it has already installed everything it needs. Now, like I said in the intro, I'm not sure if this really affects Wi-Fi, but you can just try to fix this and the way that i've seen that you could possibly fix this is try pausing updates now for the windows 11 people you would just pause updates but if they have something different on windows 10 which i'm assuming they didn't change much then you can just look in your settings on windows 10 and they should have something where you can pause updates or you can just make it so that it doesn't auto update or it'll at least ask you now, the next place we can check is steam now from what i did and i just did a little bit of searching they actually don't have anything that just completely stops it from auto updating 
but I also don't really have many issues with Steam doing that. So I don't really know where I can look for it, but you could try schedule auto updates. Now, if you do this, it'll allow you to set the times during the day where you want for Steam to install any updates that are around. So let's say for instance, I have a Steam game that needs to update. I could set it to not update any of my games until 6 a.m. in the morning. And then it, it, it can't install any updates until let's say, let's say 3 p.m. It can't install any updates until the next time, which is 6 a.m. again, the next day. So, from what I know of, this is the only thing you can do to stop auto updates while playing games, but they also do have it here, allow downloads during gameplay. So basically what it will do is if you're playing a game specifically from Steam, it will make sure that nothing downloads while you're playing the game. So I'm not really sure if it will work for Epic Games games or for EA games or for Origin games, or if you just have a game from itch.io, I'm not sure if it will fix it there, but it will fix it for games straight from Steam. Now, the last one we can check is you can check Epic Game Store. Now, this was the actual one that actually had it here. Now, as you will see, it says allow auto updates. And this is actually the application that I had problems with, not while playing games, but as soon as I open every game store, it automatically updates Fortnite every single time, which I'm assuming that is the reason why Fortnite is instantly installing every single time I open Epic Game Store. And yeah, so the way to fix that is just to go over here and do allow auto updates and turn it off. And so now while you're playing a game, you won't have to worry about that. Now, they also have it just like how Steam has it where you can turn it off so that it doesn't install during gameplay. But I'm not really sure, like I said, for Steam, if it will do the same for Steam games or Origin games or EA games or H.io games. 